Good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to our live show. I'm Nocha Haya. And I'm Alicia. Yeah, okay. So since um, tomorrow is uh, International Women's Day, let's celebrate ourselves, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. So actually me and Alicia, we have been friends for many years. We were previously uh, colleagues in a... In a Ex-bankers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we were in a bank. She was my senior. And I left and we lost mm. touch. In the end, when Facebook um, evolved, we... Reconnect. Yeah. Okay. I think almost thirty years. Almost right? thirty years. Yeah. Ah, okay. So Alicia, um, you are still working? Yeah, I'm a full time. You you were full time <laughs> la. Yeah. Okay. Then how do you end up doing all this? Uh, because oh. I before this we have been telling that you are doing this um from home. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of customer base and all that. Okay. Uh, it happens. Uh, I think twelve years ago when mm. twelve or fourteen years ago when I got retrenched. My mom, um, my mom is the one who encouraged me to bake and cook, and yeah. wants me to learn everything that she does. Okay. So uh, slowly but surely, I take some of her uh, experience. Mm. Yeah, the recipe was passed uh, now. Correct. Okay, I still remember your mom. But anyway, for the um, the mom just passed away, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. In October. In yeah. October. Okay. So she's my inspiration yes. until now. Yeah. So I'm sure everybody, uh, we have um, a particular women, woman or women that we we, we as inspire, we aspire, that we look up to. So for, for both of us, it's of course our mothers lah. Yeah, okay? Yeah. yeah. So, so without further ado, I'm going to show, today I'm going to cook bayam bertutu with nasi kuning. And Alicia is going to show how she made her hazelnut tarts. Okay? So I start first lah. Yeah, you start eh? first. Okay. So um, obviously my ingredients, can see? Okay, my ingredients, um, obviously we, have need, we need one chicken lah. So one whole chicken already marinated. I've already marinated the uh, chicken with some lime juice, uh, salt and pepper. Then leave it to rest. Okay. So just clean and then remove and then make it make sure all the inlets are all very clean. Okay. Then put it aside. And we are having we for we are going to make the rempah first. So this is quite a um, dump and cook kind of recipe in the initial stage lah. Okay. So what I have is, uh, I'm just going to put in my red chilies, chili padi, and then we're going to use lemongrass. Also, I have um, what keras apa? Candle nuts. Candle nuts. nuts. Okay, then galenggal, um, ginger, a bit of belacan, shallots and garlic. Ah uh, yes yes we are going to share the recipe afterwards yeah okay this actually um I found this recipe online and then I thermified it uh, I tried it a few times I've served my guests with this for a few times but uh, only recently I've doubled it with the uh, nasi kuning so, uh, initially usually I just do the ayam ayam part only okay and also I use some coriander All right okay that's it. So I'm just going to blend this for a while. Okay, I'm just going to go to speed eight. Oops. That's me. Uh, okay, man. Okay, so you want the the texture to be a bit on the coarse side lah. Okay, so I can show. Can you see? So it's a bit on the coarse side. Alright. <coughs> so just now I use um, speed speed eight. Okay. So you want to explain why you want it to be coarse? Yeah. Be because it's, it's the this rempah, this bumbu is is uh, is dry and then we are just going to use a little bit of oil only then later we don't want it to be too uh, pasty because later you're going to you're going to mix it with with some vegetables and we're going to insert into the chicken yeah if it's too pasty then you know maybe it's difficult to handle so you just make it um this kind of texture okay not so fine and not too uh coarse okay then the back and we add some oil and we just saute this part. Okay, just a bit of oil will do. I'm just going to saute for about seven minutes first. Okay. 
Okay, as usual, it's 120. Yep. Okay, so while we get this sorted, um, why not we get Alicia to start with her with the dough for her tarts? Okay, Alicia, okay. I'll bring this chicken away. Okay, for my uh, chocolate hazelnut yeah. tarts, we are using butter, egg, vanilla, and the hazelnut. Do you, yeah. you make this yourself? Okay, I, I in cookie dough there's a recipe which you can follow. So yeah. at the same time, you can also use those commercial outside. Oh, okay. For for the uh, for the the topping. toppings. Yeah. Because uh, I think when you use it on a big scale, it's easier mm. for you, lah, right? To right, use the yes. store bought ones. Yeah. Okay, I actually tried the homemade one. It's, it tastes very nice. You know when you, you use really pure, uh, fresh, the your own uh, hazelnut. You bake first, and then when you when you cook it with your milk and cocoa powder, the whole house will smell heavenly. Okay, mm. but then mm. one thing about this, I tried it with the hazelnut tarts. Uh, when you twirl it on top, right for the shape, uh, after you bake, it doesn't hold its shape very well. Uh, it's not Mm, mm. Because it doesn't have chemicals. So if you were to buy the store bought ones, you look at the ingredients, you see there's this particular ingredient where um, is of course we can't get it lah. So I think that particular ingredient makes um, it holds the firmness of for the for the mm. shape. Mm. Okay, but um, for the festive season, we want to do some um, you know uh, catchy right, eye very eye candy. So we wanted our cookies to be nice, right, and pretty. So normally the sellers they will use the store bought ones, yeah, right? Correct. Okay. But an idea for you all, if you want to use the homemade ones, since I told you they didn't hold the shape very well, what I did was I made uh, the pots instead. Okay, I make it into like a pot. Now, uh, if you were to look it up, it, it looks like a little cupcake. Okay. So you can you can uh, squeeze the hazelnut spread inside it, and you just hold like a small little bowl. Okay. Then mm -hmm. it still works very well. Also. Okay. okay. So okay, carry on. Okay. So. Uh, I will start with uh, okay butter. Okay. She needs to cream the butter first. Okay, I've yeah. been doing. She showed me the recipe in advance already. Then I've tried it a few times, and so I memorized it. I'm gonna help you, okay? Yeah. Okay. So you put in the butter. I know <laughs> butter, <laughs> egg yolk, and the um, the egg yolk, the vanilla essence. Hello. Uh, Siti Wow. Oh, okay. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so it's Nurali. Okay, twenty. Hello, Nura. <laughs> Nurali is her neighbor. Her neighbor. Her neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I do for you, eh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's about we just cream. We just cream it for a while. Um. What? Just hmm? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very easy. So before you have thermomix, normally how do you do your your oh, tarts? Usually I'll do in big, uh, big batches. Mixer. Yeah. Mixer. So it will be like five butters. So you will uh, five butters. About four hundred. About eight eight bottles. Wow. Per okay. Mixture. Yeah. Okay. And then you just agak lah. Mm. Uh, she just pro, because right? My, no, no, no. Because my mom always say everything also must agak-agak. So, <laughs> so I'm used to that kind of agak-agak. No okay, measurement. Yeah. Okay. okay. But for us, we prefer to have a measurement, fixed measurement lah. Easier, Correct. right? Yes. Okay, then we put all the flour in. Uh, okay, so we okay. use 400. This is plain yeah, flour? Yeah, just a plain yeah. flour. Okay, then we mm. okay. We mix first because if uh, we actually going to knead this, but there's a little trick where before you knead, you mix it for a while so that the flour inside without does not like fly all over the place. Okay, uh, in the bowl. So I'm just gonna mix this for a while. About ten seconds. Hmm? Oh yeah. Don't forget to like and share. And spoil us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're already mixed. Okay. Yeah. After that, we will put into dough, yeah. is it? Uh, scrape down for a while because when you do this part, um, there are some of the flour which is not uh, really combined properly. So just use your spatula and then uh, mix it in for a while. Okay. 
Okay, then we are going to knead this. How long, Aisha? Uh, for 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so everybody know that we have this um, kneading mode, right? In our in our thermomix. For 30 seconds. 30 seconds only, yeah. Okay, wow. That's very fast. 30 seconds. Okay, let's go. Okay, so a few more minutes for this one. Alright. Okay, so high Raya is coming. You mm. have you're going to be very busy doing this already, right? Yeah, this mm. year it won't be as as much as normal. So ah. I'll just take those uh, loyal customers. Loyal yeah. customer. Yeah. So who's your loyal customer? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Loyal Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to tell them, okay? Uh, oh, 30 seconds up already. Okay, you cannot listen to my story yet. <laughs> okay, so still spread. That's your special one. Hmm. She's used to making in big batches, right? So once you give her a small batch like this, she's a bit uh, keko. <laughs> but for the benefit of our audience, we are going to uh, do this with you. Lah. So don't do that. Yeah. Huh? Can. Yeah. All right. So you you will still see that some parts are still not fully incorporated. It's okay. Hmm. Okay. Come. It will be like that first. Okay. It will be like this first. Don't worry. So you can just use a spatula to mix. Or when you transfer out, you you just use a minimal uh, effort to put, put it together. Okay. Come. I'm gonna put in. Oh. Okay. Nah. Here. Okay. Okay. time my lempa is almost done but we have not put I've not put in the seasoning as in the salt uh, and and all that right okay so this is the time I'm just going to put in my seasoning so a bit of nutmeg nutmeg powder okay mm, very nice can see can see okay it's it's very nicely sauteed all right and just gonna um let it um a bit more for just two more minutes okay just to combine all the seasoning okay so alicia's dough is almost done is that all some more, some more. yeah you need to take out you use the spatula <laughs> oh. <laughs> you cook right <laughs> yeah normally you cook in the kitchen today you cook in the studio This time I'm just gonna make this combine. One more, two minutes more. One or two, two minutes more, just to make everything uh, incorporated mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. May I help you? Mm. Okay. So you just some of the dough is in between the blade. Okay, come. Mm, yeah, correct. We can also blitz it. Do a few seconds the bowl, then it will come out also. Wow, it's a lot, you know, this one. I think this mixture can make up to 80 parts. Mm. Yeah, 80 pieces. 80 de also depending on the size of mm. your cutter, oh, right? Yes. Okay. So for your case, it will be 80 pieces. Lah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay, now it's more combined. Hmm? Ah, okay. So it's more combined. Okay, just minimal effort. Okay, previously, uh, I know we have to really use our hands and and uh, knead, right? Okay. Okay, now you can already. Yeah. Uh, so uh, roll it. Okay. Can. So you Alicia can will. Too much. You can you do half. Ah, uh, we do half lah. Put aside first. Hmm. Then you need plastic, don't it? It's okay. Mm -hmm. right, okay. In the meantime, okay, for my ayam, for my chicken, uh, we are going to starve it with with uh, this vegetable. I will use sweet potato leaves. So, there are alternatives. You can use any any veg veggie you want, but recommended will be this one or spinach. Okay, so uh, try to keep to these two like if you want to follow the recipe uh, properly. Okay, so in the meantime, Alicia, 
Oh, more red. Okay, we're just going to do a bit first. Okay, let's see. I use the normal pineapple mold. You can get it from uh, any shop. Then put a bit of flour so that it won't be stick to it. Then you mold it. Okay, let's see. You cannot see that. Too much flour. Mm. But if it doesn't stick so much, you don't have to put flour, it's okay, right? Yeah. Okay. I think this one is a bit thick. You can make it into. Okay. The thickness, the size is all up to you, right? But normally this is the size that you uh, make. Yeah, I think mm. it is <laughs> <You> smaller. <laughs> because this is a seasonal uh, bake. Is it not seasonal? No, I think I almost see you like almost a few months once you will you will I'll post this. During yeah. year, all the festive yeah. seasons yeah. you will she will have orders for this. Okay. Then do you uh, put the hazelnut spread on top immediately? No. Oh, okay. I will bake this for oh. 15 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. Oh, so you will just bake it plain first? Ah? Yes. Oh, okay. And after that, you have to cool it. You cannot immediately uh, put the Nutella. The eh, hazelnut sorry, spread. hazelnut spread. Yeah. So, oh, okay. My, my rempah is done. It's very hot here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take out the, the rempah first. Okay. Can I? Okay. You are just going to... Okay, I just take... I'm going to take it out first. Huh? You need to continue? Mm, wait, I just do this one. Just do your cutting. You tear up first. Only. Okay. Alright, so while the rempah is still hot, you just take about um, half of it and you put into the sweet potato leaves. Alright. Okay. So you just, just mix this. So if you want to go uh, use your hands, how many use our hands? Ah? <laughs> okay, I still need to use my hand because later I will have to put it into the chicken, right? Okay. Yeah, let me just wash my hand again. Okay, so Alicia, you already, you already, uh, you, uh, already cut out the yeah, more the tarts. Yeah. Okay, so this one is supposed to be baked first. Plain. Correct, yes. Okay. So we're gonna we bake this. Bake for okay. 15 minutes. Yeah. 170 degrees. Yeah, but also well. whatever um, temperature that we give you, you need to know your oven well, okay? Mm. So adjust accordingly. You just have to be like a bit brownish. Mm, not too brown. Yeah. Okay, not too dark, very light brown kind of uh, colour. Right. Okay. So we can bake this first and then we have that's okay. one that's already ready baked. In the meanwhile, okay. mm. I'll but show before you. that, before that, can I show my chicken first? Yeah, show ah, you. Okay, okay. Excited to show. <laughs> I need to show my chicken. My chicken okay. is a bit, a lot of steps. Okay, so the off the loop. Okay, so the chicken. I just remember I uh, mix the rempah with the veggie. Okay, so I'm gonna stuff into the chicken. Right. Okay, so do a bit of like surgery at that lah. See ya. Eh? I bet you can do eh? Oh, you put it inside. <laughs> yeah. This is what leaf? Uh, sweet potato leaf. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. I'll go home, let's try. Mm. Let's try, let's try. I did a few times already. Okay. Right, so 
Um, okay, we we'll leave this aside first. If it's too much, then don't have to finish all lah. Okay, you just have to see how it is, and then uh, use a satay stick to seal it. Okay, I find that toothpick is too short lah. Use a satay stick first. And then um, later you can break it into the proper size. Okay, so the chicken is done. And then yeah, while I show you the rice first, because remember we are going to layer the rice. Wash my hand. Okay, so this is my nasi kuning. So what I have is my rice, my just I use jasmine rice. Okay, if you are familiar with the nasi lemak recipe on Kukidu, it's something like that, that steps, okay? But we are using uh, a bit more coconut uh, cream. Okay, so the coconut cream, of course, you have to mix it to make it yellow. You put some uh, turmeric powder. Okay, I prefer to use powder instead of the fresh one lah, because mm. powder can dissolve well. So the fresh one, if you can use, but you will find that you have some fibers later okay when you so eat your rice here? so inside here i put the my coconut cream can mm. and then my turmeric powder and salt oh, that's, that's it all. that's all so inside here there's already water okay that's how i will do our, when we make our when we uh, cook our nasi lemak with water and the and the rice is already inside and just put the mixture the turmeric coconut mixture in Okay, just give it a good stir from the top. And what I would like to add is, I like to add um, pandan leaves lah, of course, right? To make it more fragrant and just one bay leaf. Okay. So my cover, come. Can I use the cover? Alright. So we are going to position top. So we don't use already because it's too much. So use uh, a steaming plate to that fits your chicken and also fits the varoma well. If you are not layering with rice, you need not use a steaming plate lah because um, there's nothing below, right? Uh, because I use the steaming plate, you know why? The there will be a lot of juice coming out okay. from the chicken, so be very watery lah. So mm -hmm. I don't want my rice to be to be uh, affected. Water. Yeah. Okay. So what I do is I'm going to put the this chicken. And remember the balance rempah just now? Mm. Okay. So what I do is I'm just gonna put a bit only. Okay, don't put too much. Uh. Just just put a bit just for flavor uh, for the for the rempah to be get absorbed into the chicken. Okay. Alright. We are going to steam this together with the rice. Mm. Yeah. How long is it? Okay, because the rice needs 20 minutes, but the chicken needs longer. So uh, oh, the chicken will Need to be, uh, you need to continue steaming it after the rice is done. Alright? So I'll just tell you um, the cover for this one. Oh, yeah. okay. Here. So we need to settle the rice first. So you just do it uh, at 20 minutes. 20 minutes of uh, aroma. And then go to speed 3.5. Okay. So after 20 minutes, your nasi kuning is done. Uh, you can remove the rice, but you have to uh, put back the chicken and continue steaming for another 20 minutes. Okay? Mm. okay. So total will be 40, 20, minutes. Uh, 40 minutes of steaming. Oh, steam. Yeah. Uh, if the some of the um, Indonesian, this is actually an Indonesian dish. Mm. Okay, for some of my Indonesian friends, they told me they immediately after they stuff the chicken, they will just grill it. You can do that also. But mm. I find that you take a very long time to grill and then there's be a lot of parts that are very that will be burned or charred, too, too charred. Mm. So I prefer to steam it mm. first. Yeah. So it's a bit almost guaranteed that it's already cooked and then you just have to uh, bake it for a while, mm. grill it for a while. Mm. Okay. Ah uh, juicy, yeah. It's true, true, true. Yes. So uh, yeah, so what, what we heard just now, if you bake shorter, the it will be juicier. More okay, juicy. yeah. So so don't do this method lah. Okay. Come. So we can continue with your Nutella. Your hazelnut. No, because uh, I've tried a few times. The water that is left, 
it's enough to still continue uh, steaming. Yeah, mm. so it's fine. We did not add water. But in any case that you find that your water is too little, just feel free to just add lah. Okay, okay so let's continue so with piping. So while waiting that, mm. our pipe, my yes. pipe starts. Okay, this is the part I always fail. So okay. Ah. <laughs> Why are you shivering? <laughs> cannot shiver, cannot mengletak, okay? Very funny, you know what? <laughs> Don't. Okay, continue, continue. Mm. In fact, at home also she would lah. Oh, okay. Not only here. So, can I ask you, Sha, mm. do you do you bake uh, the plain ones one shot first and then do the piping another day? Or not another day. I'll wait for about twenty minutes until it cools down. Okay. So you, you cannot pipe while uh, it's hot. Okay, but you, you do in batches, lah. Yes. Okay. So for me, what I do is I will bake all the tarts. Uh -huh. I put aside, cool it, and after that, then I will pipe it. You want to try? You want to try? Yeah. You try. Okay. See whether I shiver or my hands. <laughs> You saw from the middle, is it? Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's from the side, so okay. Uh, okay? Yeah. Oh. Just make sure you cover the hole. Okay. Audience is saying you are, feel free to speak in Bahasa if it's more comfortable. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oops. Do it, eh? Alamak. Can not. Can not make it. Try, okay. try, try, try again. You also have to look very good. Huh? Oh. Tips. Okay. Oh, oh one. okay. The mm. nozzle, right? I use a uh, open star. Open star. Open you star can na. get at any any of the shop. Oh, okay. I tried a few, but I find that this open star is nicer. Oh, okay. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Ah, uh, stop <laughs> Do. Huh? Oh, but pots, right? I must use the you know those baking tins which you have those. Free hand. Uh? Pots, ah? Uh? But you have the. No. I, I use. You need to make it round, now. Ah, uh, right? yeah. I used okay. to at home. You you have those. Okay, if you are familiar with the Brazilian cheese puff that tray, the twenty four holes that tray, I use that. So I made into a circle first, and then just press it in, and then just follow the shape of the of the mold. Yeah. Okay. If you want to do it freehand, then by all means. But don't make it too thick, yeah, because I find after you, if you eat the one Nutella pot, right, if it's too thick, then a bit chill out. Uh. Uh. And then like you that. cannot put everything in your mouth because it's too big, and then everything will be very crumbly. I'm very particular about <laughs> crumbs on the floor. Like this kind, you can just put one inside, right? Fine. Okay. This is my pot. Okay. Please use your. Your baking tins lah, if you can. Okay, then the pot we will use the homemade one lah. Okay, this is my homemade ah. Uh, yeah, but so I haven't baked yet, right? Must bake first. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Still have to bake first. Still have to bake first, and then use your homemade one, and then you just pipe it in. Then you will just level up very nicely. Okay, this is very cute. Mm. So I think this one we can bake first. Ah. Hmm? Okay, so how long do we bake this? This one cannot. Nah. So later we can do another batch. Okay, so we bake. Okay. Mm. okay. You bake for. Okay. Usually yes. I'll bake for 15 minutes, but it depends on your oven also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just bake this. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to show you my chicken. I have already, we will bake this later lah. I have already uh, uh, steamed chicken from the Varoma here. So what you do is, now we're going to grill it, right? 
you transfer it to a baking uh, tray or a baking dish that is suitable for your oven and then now is the time for you to put more of the rempah eh don't forget lah i have the satay stick here eh? <laughs> <laughs> this one Already made one? This is the ready made one? Not yet. This is not already made yet. This is uh, it's still the halfway through. This is halfway. So after we steam, we are going to bake. And then when you bake, you, you'll be, you will see a bit more charred. And then that's where you can serve. Okay? This is the pre-steam one. Mm -hmm. Yes, pre-steam one. But actually, it's already, it's already nicely uh, cooked. Lah. Because remember, you steam for 40 minutes. Yeah, I think it's really well cooked already. But then it's just that mm. not so Making nice. Hungry. Yeah, it's not so uh, pleasing lah for the eyes to see because the color is a bit, is a bit uh, you know pale and all that, right? Okay, okay. I just want it to get be charred more, and then you can serve. Okay. So first, what I like to do is, oops, I like to put um, a layer of pan. Um, Pandan leaf. Pandan, no. Oh, banana, banana leaf. leaf. Banana leaf. <laughs> On top first. Okay, about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, and then you remove it, and then, then let it nicely. Okay. So put like that. Okay. If you have uh, the banana leaf that is big enough, you can actually wrap it. Lah. You wrap it, then it will be, it, it, that's the more authentic uh, style. But I find that I cannot find... All the banana leaves nowadays are yeah, very small. small. So and we just have to expensive, eh? yeah. We just have to improvise. Okay? Why not? Okay. Then we have to bake this. Bake this in are we I have already a pre baked one. Do you wanna show that one? Mm. Okay. Okay. So uh Alicia's Nutella tart also we have the hazelnut tarts also we already have the ready ones. You use another plate, the orange here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to plate my chicken. Okay, if, if you want to follow Kupido recipes, the popular one is the four, four course chicken rice. But for me, I like to do the steamed fish and uh, steamed squid, sotong. Uh, use the same sauce, but then uh, put it over, put the sauce over your sotong. Very nice also. Tadi tak bake lagi. Huh? Tadi tak bake lagi. No, no, no. Let's show you something. Yeah. So this is the baked tart. That we bake for 15 minutes just now. Okay. So let me transfer the chicken first to a, to a plate, then for you all to see. This my spit. Okay. Okay. And do you remember our rice? Yeah. Yeah. So I've already. Um, we have about ten minutes more for the rice, but don't worry. I have done one earlier. All the magic. Oh, all the magic lah. Do you want to suggest some variations? Okay. Yeah. But also need to be a bit not you, cleaner user. Yeah. Mm. Just have to familiarize yourself with the with the speed of uh, how fast the, the water dries up lah. You know, for you know, um, make sure you have enough water. Make sure you have enough water if you want to do like continuous cooking something like this. So after cooking the rice, you're you're continuing to steam the chicken. Make sure the water is enough. Then. Um, uh, it's very fast, okay? Not only you can do one layer, you have something, you have something else on top, you can do a few layers, so maximum four layers, so depending on the recipe that you make. You always do layer cooking or not? Uh, I did once for chicken rice. Chicken yeah. rice, uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, let me show you. Okay, this is a your nut, your hazelnut wait, tart wait, is ready. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Oh. Can I read? Ah, okay. So see, our my nasi kuning is ready. Alright, so you can, if you want to plate it nicely, you just put it in this kind of bowl. Alright. Okay. Will it, will it, will it come out? Just put it like that. Lah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you can just uh, plate uh, how you want it. So I have the nasi kuning. I have my uh, grilled chicken already, the ayam bertutu. And then I just additional, I just put in some santan into the gravy. Cook it for a while. Put in a bit of sugar and then we have a bit of sauce. Mm. Okay, if not a bit too dry. Okay. okay. Yeah. It smells so good. It smells so good, right? This yeah. one takes a bit, a uh, few more minutes and we have another. We have so much food today lah. Because I, I cook two rounds of it. Okay, so you have any questions? Yeah. We have around one more minute for questions. One more minute, yeah. So, um, tomorrow, since tomorrow is International Women's Day, uh, I just would like to wish everybody, especially the ladies out there, um, to empower ourselves, okay, um, to be more inspired. Uh, to have uh, lots of love with everyone and also lots of love in the world uh, because a lot of um, things are happening around us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hopefully um, you too. Thank yeah. you for being such <laughs> a good <laughs> friend. Uh, being my... Oh, the... No, I'm not sure. Um, is there anything about the book? No. Not yet, right? Huh? No more questions? Okay. The book not yet, right? The book? Uh, it will be uh, published tomorrow. Ah, it is? Oh, okay. Great, great. So, we just got news that the e-book, the Sedap e-book will be published tomorrow. Oh, so, yeah. So, great. just uh, look out for the socials, uh, Thermomix socials, and the e-book, uh, you can download it's from uh, there. Raya and Ramadan mm -hmm. Ibu. Okay. 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 So yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for joining. So I hope that you will try the dishes, and then yeah, we will see you again <laughs> soon. Bye. Okay. Selamat berpuasa. Selamat berpuasa. Selamat Ramadan. Yeah. Bye. Bye.